Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look into rollback records which is a brand new flow feature and this is coming up with winter 22 release. In my last video I briefly give an overview but in this video I wanted to kind of show you a use case so you can apply this in your own org. Okay let's go. So I have a flow here which I already created to save some time. Basically this flow has a screen flow and by the way rollback records you can only use for screen type flow. So I have a screen element first. So what I went ahead and did is the idea is that there is a form and people can enter first name and last name, um, origin, priority and other fields on case. And what I then do is I take this first name and last name um, variables and then before I create case, I want to create a contact record. Now in this case, imagine that I have a default account. This is not a best practice, but just for this example, we're going to assume that all the contacts are being created for this account. So whenever somebody tries to create a case, first step is I'm creating a contact record. And then I'm saying first name equals that con name dot first name. This is coming from the screen. And then last name is con name dot last name, also coming from that screen element. Then I am manually assigning. So whatever contact get created, this will be assigned to con ID variable. Let me know if you wanted me to go detail into this one. Okay, so I'm storing the contact ID that gets created in this variable. That's all I'm doing here. Then I have a decision. And basically the decision is just making sure that the contact did get created without any issues. Because I just want to uh, check it before I create the case which is related to the contact. So I'm just saying if the contact is not null, which means the contact gets created successfully, I'm creating case record. So for the case record, I have a contact ID which is equal to con ID, basically the contact that I initially created, and then all the other fields from the screen element, like origin, priority, reason, etc. Okay, so, so far so good. Now, imagine that um, on the case creation, the user face an error. So what's happening here? We have a screen element. We are sending it to another create records, creating the contact, then creating case. Now, if there is an error for case creation, the system will still create contact because that happened before that and there is really no connection between these two. What if the requirement is that you don't want to create contact, I mean almost you want to roll back the contact creation if the case creation failed. Okay, so that's what we're going to look into rollback records. And finally what's happening is after the create records, I'm just showing a success message saying, hey your case was created successfully. Now. Uh, where you want to fit in your rollback is basically after the create records, there is a fault element. So let me just pull the rollback records here. I'm just going to call rollback contacts. Again, this is just for this example. I want to roll back the creation of this contact because my case creation failed, so I also don't want to create any contacts for that case. Then I'm just going to, and the moment you pull that in, after create records, um, since this one has already one um, line here, the moment you pull the other one, you will see that fault dotted line. And that's what you want to use. And then what do you want to do on rollback? Obviously, you want to somehow bring it back to the original thing and let user know that something went wrong, right? So that's why you just add another screen. This is just um, something uh, nice to do. And there may be other requirement for you. But for me, I'm just going to say, something error message to let the customer or the user know Let's see. something went wrong click next to try again or contact someone so you can give contact admin or something like that make it uh, red why not and that's it let me just name this one Better screen if I can type okay and then hit done so I'm just gonna connect this so after the rollback happens the customer or the user will be brought to the screen and then after they hit next I want to kind of um, loop them back to the first initial screen. Now let's see that in action. And just to show you, um, I have a case value 
operation rule here. So basically priority cannot be empty. And that's where we will see the error. So I'm just gonna hit debug. And let it run. And the first step is I want to say test, test. Um, just to be specific, I'm just gonna say test 25. And case origin is email. I'm just gonna leave everything else empty. So check out the debug statements here. Now it took me to the rollback, which is what I wanted, or which is what I was expecting. And then it says rollback records, pending record changes in the current transaction are rolled back and not saved to the database. And then just to show you, I'm just gonna quickly search in my org as well to make sure that record actually did not get created. And we can't find that record because it rolled back. Um, so I'm now going to turn off the validation. And do the same thing again. Test, test 25, email, hit next. And this time it should actually take me to the case created screen because there was no issue and the case got created. So let's check that case out. And there was a contact that also got created. So I'm just gonna go to my search and just say test 25 again, because that was the contact. And there you go, we have the contact. And if I go to case, I can also see that case created. So we have the case with test 25 as the contact. And the account was defaulted to GenPoint because that's what I had the ID for. Okay, so that's just one of the use case. Um, you could use it in different purposes. So one of the use cases that I have seen is on the opportunity creation, create a task for that opportunity owner. But let's say if you have um, some issues with opportunity creation, you also want to uh, not create the account, for example, or maybe there's a lead and task creation. So any number of examples, wherever you can apply, this is really good way to handle those orphan records so that you don't have just some records sitting there um, and you can just roll, roll back those records. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have a specific use case that you'd like me to try. Thank you so much for watching.